Hi, my name is Sam, and I'm representing the DCS Mech Warriors out of Forsyth, Illinois, Team 14840. I'll be talking about our signature piece this year, the Mag Switch. Originally, we were alerted to the idea by uh, Team 14204, the uh, Super Screen Brothers out of Decatur, Illinois. And what they said was that uh, they had discovered a product called a Mag Switch. And basically how it works is it shifts the polarity of two alternating magnets and a third stationary magnet uh, to turn a magnetic field on or off. Uh, so we built our own, this, that's what this is, but uh, unfortunately it was never strong enough for us to uh, get a good hold on these blocks here. So uh, eventually we came to the solution we have now, which is uh, a rotating magnet that uses physical distance. And it's actually a very simple concept. So this is the uh, actual 3D printed part of the mag switch you see right here. And as you can tell, there's a slot for the magnets, the three cube magnets that go right inside there. It also has a ease of access maintenance on the top. So just little holes so you can get an Allen wrench in there. And so Basically, it attaches to a servo. It's got a, a gear that uh, goes inside here, and then it uh, goes on top of the servo into the, its container. And so the block, the heavy block, or even the, the medium weight blocks, uh, they attach right onto that magnet and on the front of the uh, container, and then it just simply turns 90 degrees, and voila, the block falls off. So this here is our mag switch, as it can be seen on our bot. Uh, it's attached to a servo arm right here, and it is also attached to a set of linear slides. And so this is a extremely effective way of picking up the metal blocks. As you can see, it goes down, it picks them up, and it drops them. And so that's all there is to it as far as the uh, shared hub goes. So it's an effective measure for scoring lots of points. We've been able to cycle 10 blocks at a time uh, into the shared hub in Teleop. Um, but once we designed this piece, we realized that it is a multi-function piece. So these linear slides actually don't aid in the shared hub part of our strategy, but what they do is they allow us to use the same mechanism to cap our TSE. And literally, we just pick it up the same way that we would pick up a block, we go up a little bit and we use the linear slides to put it on top of the uh, Alliance Hub. And so it's really a versatile piece and like I've mentioned before, it is incredibly effective. The best part about this is it is not an electromagnet, which means it is legal for all first competition. And so we'll be adding footage at the end of this video so that you can see how our robot works in gameplay and how effective this is at uh, controlling the shared hub and getting us a 20 point uh, bonus. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please comment in the comments below. And uh, if you'd like to see more content like this, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you so much and have a great day. Okay, three, two, one. Uh, gets air freight in the shred container. Brought one robotics, dropped it, just missed. Trying to get it into the warehouse. One, two, nine, to control. Well, I got there, freight, and both pieces of freight for the blue lines. Ducks in play. Both teams on blue in the warehouse. Three, two, one. Controller action begins. Uh, Route one robotics is going back, picking up the freight and getting it on the uh, red line of hub. Control Y getting it on the top level of the hub. DCS getting the magnetic pieces going and on to the, the shared line of hub. Rat One Robotics getting some on the red side of the shared line tub. Now it's only coming to get more freight.
for the line, DCS fighting on the freight. Continue to play spread on the red hub. Control line placing freight in the shared hub or in the blue alliance shipping container. DCS continues to load that shared shipping container up. Right side. 45 seconds left in this match. Teams begin preparing for end game activities. Alright, end game begins. DCS placing a cap stand. Control Y getting Jackson play, Mount Zion getting Jackson play. Mount one of Alex looking to pick up a cap stand, get it in. Okay. Oh, fell off. Seven, six, five. Go park, go park, go park, go park, go park, go park. Alright, and there's the match. Ball playing match number eight complete. Four to be tabulated in the first second. Good job, that team. And the Blue Alliance wins. 245 points for the Blue Alliance. 117 points for the Red Alliance.